Perfect. All right, everybody, what's going on? And welcome to today's edition of Swag Talk. This is a show we cover the swag inside and out. I'm your tour guide around the swag. See what else coming at you. And today we're going to recap that MEAC Swag Challenge beatdown that took place last night, man. Jackson State all over South Carolina State. I uh, scored 37 to 7. And honestly, the game was not even that close. Um, so we'll run through that game and um, get ready for week one. So um, with that being said, man, y'all can check out the socials. Uh, Facebook is Swag Talk, Instagram Swag Talk, Twitter Swag Talk 76. Uh, on the socials, I have my weekly Swag Talk show schedule. Um, Tuesdays will be our HBCU Top 10 show where I run through the top 10 teams of, of, the, of, the, seat, uh, of the week. Um, no changes to the top 10 this week. I can't make any changes um, based off of that game. Uh, Wednesday will be our preview for week one. Uh, Thursday is Swag Smoke. Uh, as usual, 6 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central, 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, live on on this channel. Uh, Saturday, we will do a um, our, our, I won't necessarily call it a pregame show, but it'll probably be a midday show um, leading up to some of the evening's games on Saturday. And then Sunday, we'll recap Saturday's games, and then Monday we'll have a recap for um, Sunday for Sunday's game, which is the Orange Blossom Classic. So we got a full week. Uh, full week ahead of us, and then, like I said, you can check out the socials um, to get that that keep tabs on that schedule uh, every week. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel while you're here, and then once you do, hit that join button, man, so you can um, be a part of this. You can become a member of the show. Um, you know, we're gonna try to do some members only shows. Um, definitely gonna try to you know do a more in depth top ten show uh, for members, or you can you know you can put in your top ten. Uh, probably do more of a point spread type thing as well um, with a members only type of thing and some pick them contests and things like that. So definitely make sure y'all hit that join button after you subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, like the video, share it, and feel free to comment your thoughts on this game, man, because, I mean, obviously this game was not as close as I thought it would be. Obviously I did pick JSU to win. I'm going to take the credit for that. Um, but I thought South Carolina State would put up some kind of a fight. They put up no fight. Um, but before we get into this game, man, I want to say first and foremost, um, I don't want to hear nothing from nobody in the MEAC if your team has not won a MEAC Swag Challenge game or has not even played in a MEAC Swag Challenge game. Because, see, for a long time, y'all have been carrying, riding the coattails of teams who have been winning those games. And um, it, it, it needs to stop, bro, because when you really look at things, it is not as bad as, as, as things may seem. I mean, the SWAC has won four out of the last six games in this matchup, so we ha we are having some success. The way people talk is like we haven't won a damn game in this thing. Um, but you got teams who talk a lot of noise who haven't even participated or even carried their weight in this series. So I don't want to even hear that from y'all no more, man. This is this this week for sure is for JSU to get their rocks off, man, and, and, and let y'all have it, man. I mean, we're gonna back them up on this, and, and you know we'll be back to our regular schedule program next week, but. This week, man, it's all about JSU whipping up on the MEAC. That you can, you can, if you're from the MEAC, you will, you know, you want to holler about South Carolina State this and that. I don't even want to hear it, man, because y'all, y'all been talking a lot of noise about games that y'all teams ain't play in. So we're gonna do the same here, and y'all just gonna have to sit there and take it, man, because this, 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 this product that yeah, that team put on the field, man, y'all should be embarrassed about, man, and and and. This, this, you know, this is a week one game. You know, what I mean, you you had all 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 off season to get ready for this game. You tried out that offense that you tried it out there. You tried it out that punter that you tried it out there. You know that the the I knew this game was it was uh, was basically in trouble for them when they had their first punt and the boy just dropped the ball three times. So they were very ill. Ill. I, I think they were very ill prepared. Uh, JSU TC Taylor and his coaching staff man had this team ready to roll. Never asked the team to do anything outside of what they needed to do. 
and they they played a really great game. And uh, where they, where they go from here is, is anybody's guess. You know, you don't want this to be the best game they played all year. You, you know, you're gonna they they left some points on the field and they made some mistakes. So there's still some things to clean up. Um, this was by by no means a perfect performance, but this was as good of a first performance that you could ask for with a team like this. Um, and maybe it, it maybe it's right there, Coach Buddy Pugh was announcing that he retiring at the end of the season because I don't even know he'd make it through the season with a team like this that they put out there, man. And, I, I you know, it, it was a really disappointing effort for them. I, w- I was really, really, really disappointed to see their team play the way they did and to see them play a quarterback as bad as they did for so long. Uh, kind of give me some flashbacks to uh, another team last season, but I'm not going to go there. Uh, let's look at the uh, the scoring summary for this for this game, man. Uh, JSU scored first um, with 12 minutes and 31 seconds left in the first quarter when Irv Mulligan ran a 46 yard touchdown. Uh, Basil kicked the extra point. That was a three place 55 yard drive that took a minute and 29 off the clock. JSU led seven to nothing. Uh, with 10:37 left in the second quarter, Jensen Riley got a 40 yard touchdown pass on a nice catch and run um, from Jason Brown. Extra point good, seven plays, 92 yards, 418 off the clock, 14 to nothing. Uh, Baszler kicked a field goal with no time left from 31 yards out, uh, nine plays, 74 yards, took 455 off the clock, halftime score, 17 to nothing. Uh, early third quarter, 12-13 left in the third. Uh, DJ Stevens caught a 21-yard pass from Brown. Extra point good, six plays, 63 yards, uh, 242 off the clock, 24 to nothing at that point. 7-18 left in the third. Andre Hunt, 44-yard catch and run from Jason Brown. Uh, extra point good, five plays, 84 yards. Took 2-17 off the clock, 31 to nothing. Uh, 4-16 left in the third quarter. Basil, um, 27-yard field goal. Capped off a six-play, 19-yard drive. Taking 256 off the clock, 34 to nothing. Fourth quarter, 552 left in the game. Uh, another field goal. From 38 yards out this time, 14 plays, 49 yards, 8, 8, 8, 8 16 off the clock, 37 to nothing. And then with 22 seconds left in the game, Justin, Justin Smith Brown caught an 18-yard pass from Corey Fields. Uh, extra point was good, 10 plays, 75 yards, 530 off the clock. Final score, 37 to 7. Team stats, uh, South Carolina State total 14 first downs, 9 rushing, 4 pass, and 1 by penalty. Jackson State, 23 first down, 6 rushing, 12 passing, 5 by penalty. 138 yards for the Bulldogs on the ground on 31 carries, 4.5 yards per carry. Uh, no touchdowns. Uh, the game, 140, 149 yards, lost 11. Jackson State, 134 yards on the ground, 28 carries, 4.8 yards per carry, 1 touchdown. 163 yards gained, 29 yards lost. Uh, 63 yards passing total. For South Carolina State, six of twenty, one touchdown, well, one touchdown, one interception. They averaged three point two yards per attempt, uh, ten point five yards per completion. Jackson State, three fifty six through the air, twenty five of twenty nine, twelve of twelve point three yards per attempt, uh, fourteen point two yards per completion, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Total offense, two hundred and one yards for the Bulldogs, fifty one plays. 3.9 yards per play. They did fumble once and lost it, did not lose it. Uh, they had nine penalties for 69, 69 yards. Jackson State, 490 total offense, 57 plays, 8.6 yards per play. Two fumbles, they lost one. Uh, five penalties for 55 yards. Not a highly penalized game for a first game. I, I really like that. Um, not a lot of turnovers in this game either, only one for each team, um, which is another thing I thought may, may have been an issue uh, in this game. And I did say this game was going to be bad news bears, but it ended up being bad news bears on one side. So um, salute to Jackson State for playing a pretty clean game in this game. Uh, South Carolina State punted seven times for 245 yards, averaged uh, 35 yards per punt. They had three punts inside the 21. Punt was fair cut. Jackson State punted once for 39 yards. Uh, that punt went, went inside the 20, and it was fair cut. Uh, kickoff, South Carolina State, State kicked off twice for 83-yard average, 41, 83 yards, 41-and-a-half yard average, no touchbacks. Uh, Jackson State punt, kicked off seven times for 443 yards, average 63.3 yards per kick with four touchbacks. Uh, no punt returns for South Carolina State or Jackson State. Uh, kickoff returns, 
South Carolina State at two for 45, average 22 and a half yards per return. Jackson State at two returns for 14 yards, uh, seven yards per return. Jackson State did have the one interception. Um, time, time of possession, South Carolina State, 27 minutes, 18 seconds. Jackson State, 32 minutes, 42 seconds. Fourth, uh, third down conversion, South Carolina State, 4 of 11. Jackson State, 2 of 7. Uh, one of one on fourth down for Jackson State, 0 for 1 on fourth down for South Carolina State. So if there's anything that you want to see this team clean up as they move on is, is third down conversions. Obviously, you want to, you know, you want to um, convert more third downs. You know, they did take a couple sacks on third down that, that forced them in the field goals. So you want to clean that up. And the fumbles, the two fumbles are, are things that, you know, can be tightened up. Uh, nothing major. But, you know, things that you kind of want to, you know, you kind of want to take care of. Uh, red zone, South Carolina State was one for one. Jackson State was three or four. They missed a field goal in the red zone. Um, sacks, South Carolina State had, uh, they registered one sack. Jackson State registered one sack. Um, oh, one for one on PATs, four for four for Jackson State, one for one for South Carolina State. Field goals, South Carolina State did not attempt one. Jackson State, three or four. Uh, individually, Corey Fields was 5 of 17 for 59 yards, one interception, one touchdown. Longest completion was 18 yards. He was sacked once. Uh, Andre Washington was one for three for four yards. Uh, he threw no touchdowns, no interceptions, no sacks. Jason Brown, 25 of 29, 30, 356 yards, three touchdowns, no interceptions. Long of 47, one sack. Um, he had a stretch of 20 or uh, 21 straight completions. Uh, they definitely gave him a lot of throws that he, you know, he didn't have to really force anything. He took, they took everything South Carolina State gave him. And that was a lot of catch and run, a lot of rack yardage for Jackson State. Um, definitely made the most of their catches and runs. Um, they just, they just were faster than South Carolina State. A lot of times South Carolina State was out of position. Um, there were plays where their defense was looking in the backfield. Um, they just were really, just really discombobulated in Jackson State. Really ate them up on a lot of things. Uh, Jawan How, Jawan How led South Carolina State with eight carries for 24 yards, along with nine three yards per carry. Josh Shaw, five carries, 23 yards, six yards uh, was his long, 4.6 yards per carry. Corey Fields, six for 21, um, 15 yards his long, and Andre Washington, four for 19. Um, four for nineteen and um, fifteen was his long four point eight yards per carry. Herb Mulligan had a big game, eleven carries, ninety yards, one touchdown, eight point two yards per carry. I think that's your guy going forward, man. That I mean, you know, coming from a, a place like Wofford that just runs the ball, this guy's a he has great vision, got good balance. Um, was able to really spin off of off of some missed tackles and make get that extra yardage. Never really went down on the first tackle. Um, so I, I think that's, you know, I think that's your guy moving forward. Um, definitely going to be one of the better backs in the league, you know, as he continues to get those carries. Uh, J.D. Martin, 10 carries, 45 yards, average four and a half yards per carry, along with 22. Uh, Zion McDonald came in and got two carries for 15 yards, uh, seven and a half yards per carry. Keyshawn Tony led South Carolina State with two catches for 23 yards, along with 14. Uh, Smith Brown. One for 18 and a touchdown. Howell, one for 10. Uh, Jordan Smith, one for eight. Casey Fields, one for four. Uh, Rico Powers had four catches for 95 yards for Jackson State, longer 47. Isaiah Spencer, five for 64, longer 17. Duke Miller, uh, nine for 56 and 11. As a long, Andre Hunt, one for 44 and a touchdown. Riley, one for 40 and a touchdown. Uh, Fabian McCray, two for 23, longer 13. Uh, DJ Stevens, one for 21 and a touchdown. J.D. Martin, two for 13 with a long of 11. Um, defensively, South Carolina State was led by Aaron Smith with six tackles. Malcolm McGee with five. Uh, Dunham with five. Uh, e Evans with four. Uh, Doe with three. Allen with three. Godbolt with three. Uh, tackles for loss. Kirksey had two. Godbolt, one. Uh, Jones, one. Green, one. Weber, one. Sacks went to God Bolt with one uh, forced fumble by Doe from recovery by Bradley. No interceptions. Uh, pass breakup by Allen. And uh, that's it for South Carolina State. Uh, Arrington led Jackson State with seven tackles. Isaac Peppers, big game for him. Uh, six tackles for him. Uh, Rogers had four. Guthrie with four. 
Webb with three, Clark, uh, Petty, Jones, Smith, and Williams each had two tackles. Uh, tackles for loss, Peppers with two, Calligan with one. Uh, Peppers had a sack. Uh, interception went to Tim, Tim Stewart. Uh, pass breakups were by uh, Hazel with two, Calligan with one, and Dabney with one. So really, you know, a quarterback hurry went to uh, Peppers, Jenkins, and Davis. Nice, so nice, nice game by the defense from Jackson State. They they just whipped South Carolina State um, on on both on both sides of the ball at the, at the line of scrimmage. South Carolina State didn't stand a chance in any any way, shape, or form. Um, so that that's pretty much this game, man. You know, like I said, not a lot to take away from this game at this point. Jackson State did what they needed to do. They came out and they took care of business. And they made a team who, you know, who 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 we a lot of us thought could make this be a game. They made it not a game. They made this team very ineffectual, and they they really forced South Carolina State to do what they didn't want to do, and they were unable to do it. So, salute to Coach Taylor um, winning his first game as a as a head coach and um, turning this game from a chess match to just a boat race. Man, they just really handled business in this game. And they move on to their next game. So, um, like we always like to say, teams approve more between their first and second games at any time of the season. So, that's a scary thought if this team, you know, this team can get better because they played a pretty solid game. Um, they did leave some points on the field. They did make a couple of mistakes, but nothing, you know, nothing egregious. And they'll be they'll be in the mix. So, looking at uh, the schedule for this upcoming week, and it's week one, everybody's in action. Um, starting on Thursday, uh, Pine Bluff goes to Tulsa um, on a 7 p.m. kickoff on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, Saturday's game, September 2nd, Gramlin and Hampton play in New Jersey. That's a 2 p.m. kick on the NFL Network. Uh, South Carolina State, uh, excuse me, uh, Central State plays Valley in Chicago. That's a 3 p.m. kickoff on HBCU Go. Uh, Southern is at Alabama State, 5 p.m. kick on ESPN+. Plus. Uh, Alabama A&M at Vandy, 6 p.m. kicks SEC Network plus ESPN plus. Uh, Bethune Cookman at Memphis, 6 p.m. plus 6 p.m. kickoff on ESPN plus. Alcorn at Southern Miss, also 6 p.m. kickoff ESPN plus. And the Labor Day Classic closes out Saturday's action as I knock my camera down. Uh, the Labor Day Classic closes out South Carolina. <laughs> what? Why am I still saying? The Labor Day Classic closes out Saturday's action as Prairie View takes on Texas Southern. Uh, 7 p.m. kickoff on ESPN Plus, and the big game for Sunday, which will be our official game of the week, uh, is Jackson State and Florida a in Miami in the Orange Blossom Classic, uh, 2 p.m. kick on ESPN. So we'll cover that game um, in depth on Wednesday on our week on our week one preview. We'll talk about all the other games, but that'll be the game we focus the most on. And we are now officially in football season, man. We are here, man. All of the, all, you know, everything else don't matter no more. The games on the field is what matter, and we are here. Um, so salute to Jackson State for defeating South Carolina State 37-7 to in the MIAC Swag Challenge. And on to the next one. So we'll catch y'all on Tuesday as we go over our HBCU Top 10. And then Wednesday, we'll preview all the action for Week 1, and we'll take it from now. So, Y'all make sure y'all subscribe and like um, and comment and join. So we'll catch y'all on Tuesday, and y'all have a good rest of your weekend, and y'all stay safe. Peace.